What is up, YouTube? I am Taylor. Welcome back to my channel, and I want a burrito. Okay, not really, because that'd be awesome, because burritos are delicious and tasty, especially when filled with pork meat and other products. Uh, but I won a box of comics from Burrito. Comic Burrito, that is. Uh, the three guys, uh, great channel. I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, to their YouTube channel. You should follow them because they're fantastic, even though they live in Michigan and they can't be trusted because of that. But they gave away free stuff, so that negates the Michigan thing. Uh, they Apparently I left some amazingly witty, probably pretty pithy and generally relevant comment on one of their videos, and I won a thing. I didn't know I was even entering into a thing, but I did. Uh, they got a hold of me and said, hey, you won a thing, so here's your thing. And it's a box from Skull Comics. This is... They're monthly subscription box, I believe, and I used to get these. I just kind of uh, stopped for a while because I found myself reading like one or two of them and, and then uh, not reading the rest. So I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to pause it. But uh, that's it. Scout puts like a, a quality product, uh, and they're I like their box. It all folds down flat and really nice. <laughs> Honestly, it's a minor detail, but it's a it's a cool one because. You know, everything shows up really well protected and everything, and uh, they wrap it in bubble wrap, and you get, what, 10, ten comics up-ish, uh, and an ash can every month. At least that's how they used to do it. I haven't looked to see how they still do it. I think these boxes are normally about $42 shipped, somewhere in there. Uh, if, if you do the subscription, you can, I think, also now buy them at a one-time thing, and they're a little more... But I really, I don't know, remembering things is hard, and I didn't research. I got this in the mail, and I said, I'm going to make a video. So I'm making a video. And, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> One thing. Oh, boy. They have packing tape stuck to some of these comics. So I, uh, when I said they're well-packed, that's generally true. <laughs> Today it might not be. I'm going to try not to cut my finger, my face, or anything else off. I'm going to try and get in here and see what I've got. And try not to wreck every single comic while I do it. So, no promises, folks. No promises. Um, yeah, they're, they're all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's that mess, and then there's this mess. Okay, I see what they did. They wrapped it twice, uh, so I can have an interlude. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to get into this and get it out. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, pull tabs, folks. Pull tabs are a great thing. I thought they maybe split it up by kids and adults, and that's not the case. Um, they, they just kind of went willy-nilly, as it were. But we're going to get into this, and I'll show you what I got. I think there's a chance to win a name tag or, I don't know, something in here. I don't think I got it. I don't have that kind of luck. But I did get a Black Friday number three. That's a cool cover. Uh, I read the first issue of this series. I liked it. I just haven't kept up on it. Um, so, you know. Uh, cool. And then Claire and the Dragons, number one. What I do like about Scout is they're kind of all over the map, uh, content-wise. Uh, they have stuff for kids, which is their Scoot box, or Scoot comics. And they have a grown to be horror stuff, and they have a couple different imprints. Like, this is Black Caravan. This is Scoot. And this is Scout. And they're all the same parent company. And they just kind of, uh, you know, cater to different audiences. So, uh, stake number four. Uh, and I will try and read some of these and stuff and, and get caught up, I promise. I just haven't had a chance to do it. And, uh, yeah, because, well, I just got them, honestly. So Midnight Western Theater number two, that's a cool cover. I've not heard of this one, actually. But it's a, uh, yeah, interesting one. All right, uh, this one I was actually tempted to pick up at the LCS, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I got it in the box now. So it is, uh, let's see if you can hear that about the glare. We have Tales Told of Technicolor Horror, Techno Horror, Season 1. This is their Black Caravan imprint. And, yeah. Pretty funky. And uh, By the Horns, number 3. I read the first one. I think I have the second one somewhere. If not, I have to go pick it up. But uh, this is a lady that hates unicorns and is hunting them and is now apparently eating unicorn stew. So, delicious. Tastes like rainbows. Like Skittles. We get the Adventures of Byron, and some of these like younger titles, like this one, the Scoot stuff. I might give to my uh, my nephew and niece because they they enjoy comics and they always keep bugging me for them. So this is the War of the Rotisserie. Then I have to explain what rotisserie is. That that's a lot of work, but I still might give it to him. And here we go, number one issue, uh, Broken Sun's Ballad, number one. Cool cover. 
So, yeah, I mean, for, you definitely get your money's worth out of this box. It's just kind of, I just, you know, for whatever reason, I just wasn't reading all of them. So, I'm like, well, I'll pause for a bit. And I might pick it back up. Or I might just see if I can keep winning from the burrito, guys. Because that's even easier, right? Uh, Black Cot number three. First issue of this is really good, too. Uh, I just haven't, again, like, keeping up with everything is hard. So... And here is the ash can, the Rad Wrath number uh, ash can, which is a cool, cool ash can, <laughs> kind of twisted. Uh, part of the Black Caravan horror imprint. I am, I am seeing a horror theme to this this month's stuff, and that's not bad. <laughs> and and here we go. They're perhaps not second chances. The Haps and the Flat Monster. So, yeah. And finally, last but not least, uh, Electric Black number one, the second print. So, thank you so much, uh, Scout. Thank you very, very much, Burrito, guys. That's uh, greatly appreciated. And, yeah, I, I, you know, for four, I think $42 shipped or for or for winning and leaving a comment, you, could, you too can have Scouts. I think, actually, if you go to uh, the Scout, uh, to the Burrito, uh, comment Burrito, guys, and watch their videos, they usually have a promo code. I can't remember what it is, but you can save some money. So, not only do you get great content from watching those those guys, but you can also save some cash if you decide you like this stuff. I don't know if it works on subscription box stuff. Some of the Scout stuff, uh, like I had a coupon code a while ago, and it just didn't work on the subscription-based thing. But still, you can go to the website. They have they used to have mystery boxes and stuff, too. And you can buy individual issues and variants and stuff right off the Scout's website. And if you go to the Burrito folks, you probably save cash. So that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, don't be a dick while eating burritos. Or don't eat a dick burrito. Whatever. See ya.